So my MB server almost ruined my brother's birthday last week. He was all queued up to watch the feature film of the evening, Five Nights at Freddy's, shout out to Josh Hutcherson, when the movie kept stopping and stuttering, not buffering due to network, but simply hard stopping and then resuming. I didn't have this issue at the TVs in my house, which ran off latest gen Chromecasts, uh, except for one TV in my house, which had Chromecast built in, uh, and I thought that one might have a network card issue. I tried hardwiring it, but it would also hard stop and quick resume uh, without the buffering spinning circle of death. So what was the problem? A few weeks before this, I did attempt an upgrade at my MB server. It wasn't really an upgrade, it was just a moving of its guts to a different case. But during that process, something might have dripped on the board because all of a sudden I wasn't getting uh, fan spinning on the CPU. And I was like, well, whatever, we'll just get a new motherboard and CPU combo for 25 bucks off of uh, Marketplace. Doesn't have to be very fancy, it just needs to have a decent clock speed and RAM support. So I get the new motherboard, get the new CPU, put them in the case, hook everything up, and now when I turn on the computer, I get a beep code uh, from the motherboard saying it doesn't detect a graphics card. But then it proceeds to boot up just fine and shows display out of the graphics card. I thought, okay, must be a false positive. It's an older board, maybe there's some dust in there, but I reseeded the card, still the same beep code, must be fine. So I carry on and things are streaming and seemingly the graphics card is working fine, so no worries. However, then I went on vacation, and while on vacation, transcoding was crazy slow, and I have a Nextcloud running on the same server, and I couldn't open their version of Google Docs because the uh, CPU was so throttled while trying to uh, convert a movie from original quality down to uh, what the TV in our hotel room was going to support. And I realized that the reason I was getting video output was probably because that graphics card was running on live support just using basic Microsoft drivers, but I wasn't actually able to install proper NVIDIA drivers earlier on. It would just say system configuration wasn't supported when I tried to go through the proper GeForce experience setup. That should have been a tip off. And so anyway, while on vacation, I grabbed a 1060 card for $50 and brought it home just in case the card was actually dead. So we get home and first I do some research thinking maybe this card is still alive. Maybe it's some other board false positive. And I find out that apparently the Lenovo BIOS I was using has a setting for the PCIe slot, which you can be set to auto or PEG, which I guess stands for PCIe graphics. Okay. I flip that setting, put the 680 in and Still getting a beep code. Okay, let's put the new 1060 in. It's a newer card anyway. We're gonna bump it up by like four years. Uh, and so that's only gonna help us out. It'll support more streams, all good things. So we put the 680 in and right away it's fine. So I guess the 680 unfortunately died. It is a 12 year old card. So I guess that's, that's fair, RIP. I boot up Windows and now GeForce Experience is happy to give me the latest drivers and support and all the good things for this graphics card that it can actually detect. But the important thing is making sure that it's actually going to ramp up when I try to transcode things with MB. So I popped into NB, made sure all the transcoding settings were pointed at the 1060 and gave it a quick test to make sure I saw the GPU ramping up during a conversion of a movie. And sure enough, it was. Awesome. By the way, if you're using Plex, you'll have similar transcoding settings. But there's one more critical step. Because this card's main purpose is to amp up the transcoding power of my MB box as much as possible, we need to give the driver a little patch to uncap the amount of transcoding streams the GPU will perform at once. Out of the box, apparently NVIDIA caps consumer gaming graphics cards at two streams, while this card can do 10 according to this chart. Some more Googling later, and I had these two patch files and this little patching tool from the GitHub linked in the description. I patched the two files as described in the very detailed GitHub repository, ran their little test they gave me to know if FFmpeg was going to be able to handle more than two streams or not, and everything looked good. Finally, the true and most scientific test of all. Watching Five Nights at Freddy's on my problematic TV with the Chromecast built in that always had the stutter issue. I pop it on, and zero stutters at all. 
success. You can watch that movie in all of its 32% tomato meter glory. Thanks so much for watching guys, and it would mean a lot if you could subscribe to the channel. This is a fairly new channel, and I want to stay motivated to share my various projects and misadventures with you guys, so I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you next week.